So in the previous one, previous video, we are trying to determine what is a zero momentum reference frame. Well, we saw that a zero momentum reference frame is a reference frame where the total momentum or the system momentum is zero. Okay? And we saw that for a single object, the way that we determine that the, the velocity of that reference frame is we need to determine the velocity of the system, which is the momentum divided by the inertia. When we determine the system velocity, we know that the velocity, this actually should be Vm relative to Earth, should be the same as that system velocity, so that the momentum is then zero. How did we determine that the momentum is zero? Because the velocity of A in this new reference frame is zero. So that means the momentum of A in this reference frame is zero. Okay, so it's pretty trivial for a single object, but what about objects that are interacting? Let's just get some more space here. Objects that are interacting, if you've got two objects here, let's call it A and B, and they're going at each other or whatever, but the point is they are in a system and they collide. Um, if we are trying to determine the zero momentum reference frame for this system with multiple particles, we have to try to do exactly the same thing. We have to try to find the velocity of the system. Now, what do we mean by the velocity of the system? You, you say to me, well, but A has a certain velocity, B has a certain velocity. What is this velocity of the system? Okay. So, we will get to this a bit later. I think it's section 6.8. But what you need to just see now is that for any single object or multiple objects inside our system, there is something called a center of mass. Okay? It looks like this. Center of mass. Now, this is not a, this is not a video on the center of mass. But it's a, it's a precursor. Um, even though objects A and B are moving at different velocities, uh, what we need to see, and we'll see this later, is that there is a velocity of the system. Okay? There's a velocity of the system. So, again, how do we determine the velocity of the system? It is equal to the total momentum right, before collision, divided by the total inertia. So say now this had a certain velocity A before collision, and this was a VB before collision. Then it would be MA VA plus MB VB divided by MA plus MB. The velocity of the system is the velocity of the center of mass. Okay? Don't get confused now. You've got velocities of A and velocities of B, but there's something called the velocity of the system. In a single object, remember in the previous video, the velocity of the system was simply the velocity of that object moving, whether it's stationary or moving. The velocity of the system was simply the velocity of the actual object. But when you've got multiple objects interacting inside a system, the velocity of the system is the velocity of the center of mass. Okay? Now, how did we determine the velocity of the system previously? It was simply the momentum divided by the inertia. In the same way, for a system with multiple objects interacting, the system velocity is, again, the, the total momentum, the momentum of that plus the momentum of that, divided by the total inertia. Now, wh why are we doing this? Because if we find 
the system velocity. We know that in order to have a zero momentum reference frame, I, I choose a reference frame that's moving at that velocity. I think it's called VEZ in the textbook. And it is simply equal to the total momentum divided by the total inertia. If I, if I choose a reference frame moving at this speed, at this velocity, then the momentum before and after interaction, after collision, is zero. Okay? So that is the basic idea here. And this is what this is saying. And after this one, we'll do a nice example. The velocity VEZ of a system's zero momentum reference frame relative to Earth is equal to the momentum of the system, MAVA plus MBVB, uh, in the Earth reference frame divided by the inertia of the system, MA plus MB. Okay? So this, again, this velocity here is not the velocity of A or B. It is the velocity of the center of mass of that system, which we will see more of later. And if we choose a reference frame going at that velocity, then the nice property is that the momentum before and after collision, when I say the momentum, I mean the, the system momentum, not the momentum of A or the momentum of B, but the total momentum of the system before and after is equal to zero. Okay, see you in the next one.